Warren Buffett famously said, you're sitting under a tree today because somebody planted a seed a long time ago. Einstein called compounding the eighth wonder of the world. And that's really how important compounding is. And how do you measure it? Through the CAGR, or the Compounded Annual Growth Rate. As the name suggests, it's the annual rate at which your money has compounded between any two dates. So consider an investor who invested 100 rupees in 2010, and that investment is now worth 200 in 2020. So absolute returns for that investor is actually 100% in 10 years. So he has earned 100 rupees on an investment of 100. On the other hand, the CAGR returns is 7.18% per annum. This signifies that the investor's money has compounded at a growth rate of 7.18% per year for a period of 10 years to be worth 200 rupees in 2010. So what may seem very attractive as 100% returns in absolute terms is actually a very low annual growth rate of only a little over 7%. So CAGR actually smoothens out all the short-term variations and this helps investors to get a clear idea about the performance of a company due to its internal structure. But the application is not only to check the past returns. You can actually use CAGR to calculate the future potential too. Ashish Shankar of Motilal Oswal Private Wealth Management gives us this easy rule of thumb. Rule of 72 tells you how much time does it take to double your investment. So to give you one example, if your returns are 15% compounded, that is CAGR, C-A-G-R, the question you ask, compounded annual growth rate, then an investment will take five years to double. But in 10 years, your investment doesn't become three times, it becomes four times, right? And in 20 years, it becomes 16 times. So that's the power of CAGR. And that's the power of compounded annual growth rate. So I think all returns should be measured in terms of compounded annual growth rate. Otherwise, it is incomplete. If somebody doubles his money in 10 years, you've got only 7% CAGR. If someone doubles that same money in three years, you've got 24% CAGR. And it makes a world of difference how your money multiplies into the future. Well, it does make a world of difference. Also, there is the fact that CAGR does not reflect the volatility of a security trading in the stock market. And experts actually suggest that for this reason, individuals might not get a very clear idea regarding the performance in case of extreme fluctuations that occur. Other technical tools should also be used simultaneously to help make accurate predictions.